as you work with brushes and we'll use it just only same color white color all the time sometimes you want to modify these brushes to work with different colors or different gradients so by selecting single color you need just tag between color or gradient so we'll highlight the color we can go and select color directly from the palette or with predefined palette where we can add specific color to our palette schema okay by selecting and just add or we can remove it after it just make much easier so if we select this color you can see we can painting with different color when you work with the gradients in this case you can specify what gradients you're currently using so you can highlight this gradient and modify the select specific gradient you can also to um, flip or rotate for example we're just rotating our colors or we can flip them depend um, in which way you want to go okay, so as example right here let me go select it and again we have a preset so i'll just preload the preset right here and we can painting with the color gradients gradients so you notice it is does cycle through our colors as we painting along uh, the couple things is kind of to modify so for example right here you notice the all gradients of all brush is changing but also what if you want to modify them to change from the stroke from the center to the out to, from the focus point to the center to out so let's do this way okay so as example let's just draw one and you can see i'm changing kind of like rainbowing going okay and, you know maybe you did use a little bit of speed and focus on this so right here and if i switch to the link now you notice it's going from my center to the side. So another way it's a gradient work a little bit different. So link, enable, disable, it's what create a different. Also, the how far is the link going, it also will affect how many colors. So as example, okay, let me clear up this one. Right now we have a link of one. And you can notice the speed is gradient changing okay now if we set link to the 10 maximum so you'll notice how fast it does change so it's will effect the same option does not open or allow you to change when you enable or disable link again and this is just if you go from one to another just to notice how the gradients work as well when you created gradients you can notice right here you have your predefined palette of the colors you can add it you can also create your own gradient and add this gradient into your collection okay um as well you notice right here when you're changing you can enable disable color by just clicking on this color inside so you can remove some of these gradients from your palette when you start using I do recommend for you to create your own palettes um, as you're going along so you have a very nice library to work with.